Hi, my name is Lee Granger. I'm the founder of Radium Technologies and the developer of Home Inventory Pro. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate a few of Home Inventory Pro's inventory management features. Let's start by taking a look at a location. On the left, we have the navigator control. We use it to choose which location, room, or inventory item we want to work with. The software lets you work with as many locations as you like. For example, here we have a location named Home, and another location for our storage unit. Each location can have any number of rooms. On the right we have the Task View. This is where information about inventory items, locations, and rooms will be displayed. Each view is completely customizable. You can control which data elements are displayed, their order, fonts, color, spacing, underlining, and more. In this case, our location view is configured to display the location address and properties, the location images, a summary of the location's inventory items, and a summary of the contents of each room. Let's see what other information we can associate with a location. We can store the location name, address, and properties, a description and comments, information about the location structure, information about the location's utilities, location notes, photographs and other images or scans, videos, file attachments such as user manuals, documentation, receipts, or contracts, and user-defined columns to record any other kind of data. While this may seem like a lot of attributes for a location, please remember that almost all of them are optional. You only need to use the ones that you find useful. Let's take a look at a room. Views in Home Inventory Pro work like web pages. When you move your mouse over a location, room, or inventory item, it turns into a hyperlink. In this case, clicking on the link will take you to the room view. No other Home Inventory software makes navigation so easy. Here we see the room view for the kitchen. It's configured to display images and inventory summaries in much the same way as locations. Let's see what other information we can associate with a room. We can store the room name, its location, description, and comments, room notes, photographs and other images or scans, videos, attachments, and user data. Now let's take a look at an inventory item. Inventory items are organized into folders. You can create as many folders and subfolders as you need to efficiently organize your inventory items. You have a huge range of options when it comes to inventory item data. I'll scroll down so we can see the rest of the inventory item view for this laptop computer. Let's edit the inventory item so we can see the full range of attributes we can record for each item. We can store the inventory item name, its folder, room, and location. You can assign an item type to an inventory item. You can record other attributes such as manufacturer, brand, condition, asset ID, barcode, serial number, or model number. You can use the model number, serial number, asset ID, and barcode values to print barcode stickers if you want. This is covered in more detail in another video. You can record all of the details of the item's purchase, value, and sale. You can record additional attributes such as the item's size, weight, and color. You can track to whom you loaned the item or from whom you borrowed it. And you can record the details of the item's warranty and lease. And you can add notes, images, videos, attachments, and user data in the same way as you can with locations and rooms. 
Speaking of user data, I want to show you how easy it is to add a custom attribute to our inventory items. Let's say you have a large collection of books and you want to record the ISBN for each book. The first step is to define the custom user data column. I'll enter ISBN as the name of our custom column. Now let's find a book. Let's edit this book and enter its ISBN. I'll scroll down so we can see the ISBN in the inventory item view. There's our user data. Now I would like to demonstrate how easy it is to add images to the software. I have a photograph that I would like to add to the kitchen we were looking at earlier. I could just navigate to the room, but since Home Inventory Pro records all of your navigation the same way your browser does, you can just click the back button to go back to the room. There's the room I'm looking for. I have the photograph I want to use open in an image editing program. I'll just switch to that program and copy it. Home Inventory Pro allows you to add images in a number of different ways. I'll quickly show you five of them. You can drag and drop or paste images directly onto the item view. and you can drag or paste the images onto the Edit Room window. There's our pasted image. Let's move it up one so that it appears third in the list. That's four ways to add an image. The fifth way is to scan the image using a flatbed scanner or import it from your digital camera. Home Inventory Pro can communicate directly with your scanner or camera to import your images. Let's take a look at our new image in the room view. There's our new image. Now that I think about it, it's not a great photograph of the kitchen, and I would like to remove it. I could remove it by editing the room again, but an easier way would be to use the software's undo feature. The undo feature is incredibly powerful. You can undo multiple actions and redo them again if you need to. You'll really appreciate this feature if you accidentally delete an inventory item folder or a location. No other home inventory software can match these capabilities. Before I wrap up, I want to show you one more feature, file attachments. This is one of my favorites. I use it a lot for organizing user manuals. So let's add a user manual to an inventory item. Let's add the user manual to this elliptical trainer. There's our user manual. Now let's add a more descriptive caption. I'll scroll down so we can see what the attachment looks like in the inventory item view. There's our user manual. Clicking on the attachment name will open the attachment in the default viewer for the file type. In this case, the file is a PDF document, so it will open in the Adobe Acrobat Reader. In this brief video, we've only covered a few of Home Inventory Pro's capabilities. I encourage you to view some of the other videos to get a sense of how powerful and easy to use the software is.